Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. And in this video, we're going to be analyzing two articles to where the first one is titled, Jeffries just raised its price target on Palantir's PLTR stock. And then after that, we're going to move over and analyze another article titled, Could Palantir Technologies be a $1 trillion stock by 2030? So for more videos and news updates, as well stock analysis on Palantir Technologies, go and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into it. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. So far, shares of Palantir's PLTR stock have been in the green, and this is due to a recent price target upgrade from an analyst over at Jefferies. Analyst Brent Thill raised his PLTR stock price target from $22 up to $24 ahead of their quarter one earnings results, which will be officially released on May 6th. Now, what's interesting here is that Brent Thill from Jefferies, which is the analyst that we're talking about, also raised his price target from $13 up to $22 ahead of Palantir's quarter four earnings report when that came out. Therefore, over the last few quarters, the price target from Brent has actually jumped from $13 up to $24 per share as of right now, which is great news for investors. And this also signifies that this analyst has had a change of heart of some sort towards Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. Now, you also should be aware that this particular analyst is not a very well-known prominent analyst, and he only has a success rate of around 42%. However, Phil was not the only analyst who started to become more positive on a Palantir's PLTR stock. As an example, last week, another analyst named Brian White upgraded the company from a sell rating up to a neutral rating, which is great news for shareholders. But what do the majority of analysts think in regards to Palantir Technologies' PLTR stock? Well, I'll tell you. Currently, Palantir's PLTR stock carries an average price target of around $19.23 per share, and this is a conglomeration of 18 analysts who cover this company's stock. This average price target of $19.23 actually implies some downside in this company's share price by around 17% over the next 12 months. But I also think you need to be aware of the lowest stock price target for this company and the highest stock price target for Palantir Technologies. For instance, a Wed Bush analyst such as Daniel Ives has a $35 price target on this company. And if you didn't know, Daniel Ives is a very prominent analyst. Yet despite this, an RBC Capital analyst actually has the lowest price target on this company who believes that this company could fall to around $5 per share in their share price. To me, I would side closer with the Daniel Ives on this considering that not only is he one of the best analysts which report on this company, but he actually specializes in technology companies, particularly Palantir Technologies, and even at Tesla. Therefore, I put more weight on his price target than these other analysts' price targets. But don't think that you don't need to do your own research, because analysts' price targets should be used as a general guide and not necessarily what the company should or will be worth in the future. That's why I think you should always do your own research to determine whether or not this company is a good buying opportunity for you as their quarter one earnings results approach. Speaking about their Q1 earnings, let's talk about what analysts are forecasting for this company, because currently, analysts are forecasting that their revenue will come in at around $618 million. This number would equate to a year-over-year -year growth rate of 17.58%, which isn't that bad. On their earnings side, we know that they will bring in gap EPS of around $0.03 cents per share on the positive side, which is relatively good news, and this would actually mark their sixth consecutive quarter of profitability. In general, I think that this is a very positive news update for Palantir Technologies, but just how high can their share price actually go? As an example, could Palantir Technologies as a company be worth $1 trillion by 2030? If you've been following along with Palantir Technologies, you've known that the company has skyrocketed in their share price by approximately 190%, considering that their current share price is trading for around $23.33 right now. But this would make their market capitalization around $50 billion, which means that the company's business is currently worth around $50 billion as of right now, which is a long way away from a $1 trillion valuation. Now, if Palantir Technologies could actually achieve a $1 trillion market capitalization, this would put their share price at around $467 per 
share. Somewhere around there, which is going to be crazy for investors. However, right now we're going to dive in to see how plausible this actually is for this company to achieve. So how could this company potentially achieve this? Well, they could continuously sign great contracts with big name brand companies. According to Oracle themselves, they announced that they would be joining forces with Palantir Technologies to provide cloud and AI solutions for both businesses and governments. And according to the article, Palantir is going to use Oracle's cloud infrastructure for its foundry workloads, and its AI platform will also be deployable on Oracle's cloud network, which is great news for both of these enterprises. You should also be aware that Oracle is no joke, and I personally hold them in my portfolio, because Oracle currently has a market capitalization of around $300 and 20 billion dollars. Remember, Palantir Technologies only has a market capitalization of around 50 billion dollars, so Oracle is a much larger company than Palantir, and hopefully Palantir can continuously sign contracts with much larger companies. These types of partnerships should be able to help Palantir potentially reach more customers by working together, and this will also help integrate Palantir's technology into these big name brand companies, which is going to be great news for not only Palantir, but also Palantir investors. Now I think you need to be aware of their growth rates in regards to the growth regarding their revenues and their profitability. So far, Palantir has been moving in the right direction in both their revenue growth, their earnings per share growth, as well as their overall share price. On top of that, they are also radically improving their margins. And when we combined their margins improving with more revenue growth and the business growing out their bottom line, this is going to lead to a very strong fundamental future for this company. Although this is all well and good, there is a problem with Palantir stock, and that is because currently it is rather expensive because they are trading at a premium. And here's what I mean. According to Palantir's accounting ratio, their current share price is trading at a whopping 250 times its trailing earnings, which is not a good look. Therefore, to keep this accounting ratio up or even viable, the company would need to rapidly continuously grow both their top and bottom line in regards to their revenues and their earnings. In the meantime, Palantir will also need to keep their strong margins as well to be able to compete and make this a tenable investment for investors. So with all of that said, now let's talk about the rub of this video to determine if Palantir could reach a $1 trillion valuation by 2030. Honestly, I really like how this article encapsulates exactly what Palantir would need to do and what they are projected to do over the next few years to potentially achieve a $1 trillion market cap, and here's what they have to say. Essentially, the article says that Palantir's AI platform will continuously draw and attract more customers, and this will help the company's top-of-the-line growth, which is currently pegged at around a growth rate of 25% from now until 20. 30. This is great news because we can then use this assumption to calculate their revenues over that time period. And according to the metrics, we know that Palantir's revenue could come in at around $10.6 billion per year by the end of 2030. We also know if they have approximately a 20% profit margin, they would bring in around $2.1 billion worth of profits. And when we consider that they have roughly 2 billion shares outstanding at the time, this means that their earnings per share, also known as EPS, would be approximately $1 and five cents. And we know that if investors are willing to pay a multiple of 50 times their earnings, which is kind of high for my opinion, that would put the company's share price at around $53 per share. This would imply that the company could surge in their share price by around 130% from now until 2030, making it a great time to invest into this company. But now let's talk about what their valuation would be and how close would they be to $1 trillion. Therefore, if all of these estimates, forecasts, and projections came true, the company's valuation would be around $107 billion, which is rather far off from our $1 trillion valuation which we were aiming for. This should go to show you how insane $1 trillion actually is. So don't be alarmed if Palantir does not become a $1 trillion company anytime soon, because it still could be a great investment to buy and hold in the meantime. In my personal opinion, I don't think investors do this company justice by believing that this company could surge up arbitrarily to $1 trillion. It shows that they are not familiar with Palantir's overall forecasts and what the company is actually after. Therefore, don't be alarmed if Palantir does not hit a $1 trillion valuation anytime soon, because they are still a phenomenal investment based off of the hard facts and data. That's why I believe this company is a good buying and holding opportunity, especially if you are a long-term investor. Yet, even with that being said, make sure you do your own research, because Palantir is a very volatile stock, which in my opinion is only good for long-term investors. However, there are very prominent analysts 
who believe that the sky is the limit for this company because the company could still have much more upside because it could achieve a $35 price target over the next 12 months. And considering that they're only trading at $23.33 right now, there is still a lot of upside left in this company. And with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.